Welcome to July's LeetCo Challenge. Today's problem is maximum width of binary tree. I'm not going to read the problem, I'll just explain it. We're given a binary tree, and we want to find the maximum width between all the levels inside this binary tree. Sounds easy enough, but some of the nodes might be nulls. So the width is going to be considered the leftmost node where there is a value to the rightmost node where there is a value. Here we see that the length is, or the width is going to be 4 at the last level because the level looks like 5, 3, null, 9. Because there's null values, though, we can see that it's not necessarily always going to be 4 at that last level. It might be 2 since the right part of this binary tree has nothing inside of it. So here, the maximum width is going to be 2. Another point to make is the maximum width might not even be at the last level. Here we can see that it's at the second level because the last level only has one node. So this is only going to be a width of 1, while this is going to be a width of 2. And finally, we need to account for all these nulls in between. So the last level's width is actually going to be 8. So how can we do this? There's a couple things that we need to take account for. The first is the levels, right? And we can do that pretty easily. Um, a breadth first search is probably the best way. You can do a depth first search as well. But the trick is how are we going to account for all these null values in between? Usually when we do it, we don't care about these null values. We can easily make a list of lists for each level with all the nodes, but we need to take account for all of these null values in between, right? So you could just account for that and add those into a list. But that's going to be really inefficient because now you're counting all these values that you don't care about. Really, the only thing you're concerned about is what is the value of the index number at the rightmost point of this level and the leftmost node at this level. So how can you do that? Well, if you know anything about binary trees, um, you know that you can use a formula for the left child to multiply it by 2 of the index number and for the right child, multiply it by 2 plus 1 for the right child. So say that here we say this is going to be an index 1. If we multiply that by 2 at the left, this is going to be index number 2. And for the right, it's times 2 plus 1. This is going to be index number of 3. In the same way, we can do keep continuing that on, and this will be 2 times 2, which would be 4. This is going to be index number of 4 at this level. And this would be 3 times 2 which is 6, plus 1, which is going to be 7. So using that formula, we can keep track of all these index numbers, and every level just get the index number of the rightmost node, subtract that by the index number of the leftmost node, and also add 1 to get the width, because you know if you do this is 3 minus 2, that's going to be 1. The width is actually going to be 2, right? It's not going to be 1. The difference, plus 1. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is to create a queue and do a breadth first search. And we'll start by initializing a queue using the dequeue up method. And what we'll do is put in a tuple of the root as well as the index number. Now, you might think, don't we need to keep track of the level? But because we can do a depth first search here, we don't really need to pass that around. We could account for that inside of our, inside of our loop. So while there's a queue, what are we going to do? Well, let's calculate the width. And we'll start by initializing a width of 0. And what we'll say is we're going to get the index number of the leftmost point at this, at this level, which is inside this queue, and the rightmost, queue, uh, rightmost node at this queue as well. So to do that, you can just, because it's a tuple, I'm going to say this is going to be left, and get the first value inside this queue. In the same way, I'm going to get the right index at the last value inside this queue. And I did this because we don't really care about the, the root itself, um, not, not for when we're calculating the width. So what's the width going to be? It's just going to be the max between whatever width so far and the right index minus the left index plus 1. So that's going to be our width. So great, now we need to create a queue for the next level, right? So I'm going to say next level, and this is just going to be another queue. 
So I'll have to do another while loop inside here and say, okay, while we have stuff at our previous level, let's first pop off our node and our index, which is going to be q.pop left. And if this node has a child on the left, then we'll add it to the queue, um, the next level. Now we're building up our next level's queue. So we'll say next level dot append, and we'll add a tuple of the node dot left. And this is the key, index times two. This is for the left one. Now for the right one, we're going to do times two plus one. And this is how we're going to account for the index numbers. Okay, once we're finished with that, now we've built up our next level, just replace Q with our next level. Since Q is gonna be empty now, so now that we went through this whole while loop, so we'll create the next level. And that's gonna allow us to just continue this loop. If there's nothing in here, then it'll stop. So that's probably it. We just need to return the width at this point. We've calculated the width going down this whole uh, binary tree. Let's make sure that this works. And it looks like we got our correct answer, so let's submit that. And there we go. So there are other ways to do this. My initial approach was actually a def first search, but this worked out a lot better uh, because with def first search, I had to start keeping track of um, uh, the, the null values and it just got really messy. It did get accepted, but it was just really inefficient. So thank you for watching my channel. My name is Tim. Uh, and remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.